Everything that you do is habit forming. And that includes hitting the snooze button. That includes sitting on the couch. It's all habit forming. You know what else is habit forming? Discipline. Setting the alarm and getting up. Going and working out. That stuff is all habit forming too. I recommend you form some discipline habits. Defeating those negative instincts that are out to defeat us is the difference between winning and losing. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. You have to fight back against procrastination. When you feel that hesitation, get hyper aggressive. Kick in that door and bust into that room. Go. Do not wait. Take that first step and make it happen. You initiate action. You go. No more bowing down to whatever unhealthy or unproductive thoughts float through my mind. No more waiting for the perfect moment and no more indecision and no more lies. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Real decisions that move your life along are not coming out of your emotions, they're coming out of your head. Real opportunities have to come out of your head and not out of your feelings. Nobody who ever ran the Olympics and trained and worked out and finished and crossed the finish line effectively got there because they felt like working out. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. What's your tombstone going to say about you? I don't care how much money you make, you only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. Because that's all we got. That's what y'all don't realize most of the time. We don't get this again. We don't get this again. The car runs too fast. That's why we got to savor these moments. Because they right now. Stop wasting valuable time. Little things you're putting off, do it. And do it right now. I know you've got other things to do. When you make a decision to do something, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to do it. You don't have to know how to do it. You only have to know you're going to do it. Because as you focus on that which you want to do, that which we focus on, that which we give our energy to, it will begin to multiply. It will begin to expand. It will begin to develop your consciousness. And out of that comes your greatness. Out of that comes a commitment. Out of that comes a passion for life. Out of that comes a special power that you have in you that you haven't even called on yet. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got, using ourselves up. Because if we don't, nobody else will. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. So what are you doing with your time? Are you doing something productive? Are you moving towards a goal? Making yourself better? Or are you letting time slip by? Wasted. You guys have an opportunity of a lifetime, and it's a short window. So why not give 120? Because if you give 120, it feels good knowing that I've run my own life because I gave 120. And was it difficult? Absolutely it was. But it was worth it. 